All right, let's start. So I'm gonna do the brake pad replacement uh, for my vehicle. Um, it is because the pads are 30% um, low. I've got a set of pads from Hyundai. Always recommend use main dealer parts because you're gonna they're gonna last you three times, four times as more than any aftermarket replacement parts. Um, it has been um, tested, and and that's. And that's how it is unfortunately you're gonna pay less for parts or any aftermarket parts they're gonna wear out much quicker than original main dealer um, parts even they are being repackaged from different manufacturer and there is the brand logo on it the product quality will be much greater than if you're gonna use something similar out there even if it's a Brembo or Ferrodo um, TRW anything like that check your check this out yourself you will see how many um, pad dust is on the wheels you know you will determine really the quality of the pads you actually have you know the more you have the brake dust on on your alloy wheels and you can't wash it off <laughs> the more shittier the pads are or the parts are you know so let's see so yeah here the wheel is off that's a disc that's a brake disc if you don't know suspension strut spring hub and control bar link right so basically i already undone the bolts one hand one hand so i'm gonna push the caliper now in i will show you how we're gonna do this um i'm gonna use where is it something which looks like a small crowbar or you can use um a bigger screwdriver um, to help you push the cylinder back in and once that is done um, you can remove the caliper and what you can do is um, if you have obviously proper caliper um, little press the tool the winding tool you can just wind it nicely without doing what I'm gonna do you know but most of the people would not have that but you can use just use that for will make life easier let's see how we're gonna and i will follow you up with the process so basically i will show you how you can just get this caliper released right so by just removing also you can do the way you like it the way it walks around you yeah um, but why i did I just removed the bottom part, lift the caliper slightly up and as you can see in there um, I have a little space where I can put, you see the, there's a free gap between the cylinder um, the piston itself I mean um, so where I can put a crowbar in so it I can put it like this right so let me just show you if you can see that you see that so that is literally the cup and I'm now pushing it slowly gently um, the piston back in so and I will show you once it's all the way in how it looks so as you can see um, obviously I'm not in a workshop I don't have a hook where you normally you can put a, like a hang like a hanging hook like put it through here and just mount it and leave it hanging so it's out of your way so I just have to carefully put it here on the side so it doesn't fall off so regards to the caliper um, you see the cylinder is nicely pushed in so that's what I mean by pushing it in and if you have a proper tool you can just put it on and press it press it in so what we're gonna do next we'll have to just remove the pads so the setup once you remove them once you remove the caliper um, that's what you can see and um, that's what's wrong with my pads so I uh, will get them off and um, we'll show you the new ones and the rest of the bits and pieces um, always recommend you just take the pictures so just in case you don't know how to put it back you know if you don't know how to put it back you're stuck so I will update you in a sec
so where we are now so i just i just removed the pads you know um those plates which holds the pads in a place so that so they're not right all around so they're sort of acting like a spring loaded plate so you also have a springs as well which not allowing the pads um to to roll as well to rattle uh, when you're going over the potholes uh, when you're, you're releasing the brakes so they keep them solid in a place and um, also they more likely acting as when you're releasing the brakes so actually they move the pads away from the disc so they don't touch it they don't touch together so that's what they are there for so make sure when you put in your, put in the new pads, you have um, everything new in the box. So you just want to replace everything, um, including every old bit, because you get a bit of heat. There's a lot of heat coming from the discs uh, and and pads together as um, as you're breaking it heats up. You know. Um, as a friction happens there so let me set everything and i'll put everything back and i will update you see if he um see how it how it looks and see if you can do it the new pads are in you know only the springs those top springs um still will have to re reuse the old ones as, as they don't come as part of the kit so let me put everything back on so the caliper should come on easily let me just move it in a place all right that's all done wheel goes back on that's it the wheel is on so I'm gonna lower the jack lower the vehicle uh, re the nuts the wheel nuts and um, ready to go I already replaced the other side I hope that will help um, it is one of the probably simplest jobs and an oil change on a vehicle you know the basic maintenance pads tires basic servicing oil level checks fluid level checks bad replacement Fr front disc would be slightly more complicated um, but just adding extra like 30 minute on a side because you have to get off them the caliper bracket which mounts to the hub with two extra bolts so that's the only thing pretty much you have to do so that, that will be half an hour on each side. And um, after replacement, make sure when you're driving away, you pump the brake pedal at least five times so you've got brakes again. Otherwise you're gonna drive into the wall because there will be no brakes uh, as there will be gaps between the pads and the disc. So that was the pad replacement. Hope it helps.